I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Kenneth. Todd, how are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? Uh, I'm doing amazing, mate, and, and uh, great speaking to you, and thanks for that beautiful introduction. You're welcome, you're welcome. It's a great pleasure to connect with you. Tell us, what part of the world are you in right now, Kenneth? Uh, right now, I'm in San Diego and a long way from my hometown of uh, Durban, South Africa. Wow, it felt more of a, like an Australian accent, though, if I had to guess. Not South yeah. African, yeah. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Yeah, good stuff, great stuff, great stuff. All right, well, tell us, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Well, I don't know if it's uh, my talents, but certainly your talents online that found me. But um, <laughs> pretty much what I do on a daily basis is I have two companies. One is a digital marketing business. So I help people elevate and build their businesses um, online using social media and online. And then my other business um, is a personal development business where I, I work with people and help them you know, achieve breakthroughs and, and break down old limited belief systems that keep them stuck in their life, whether that's income, relationships, health, you know, career, whatever that is. And um, yeah, so that's what I do, separate entities, but I also do marry them marry them together. So I have a sort of a unique take on marketing and, uh, and branding and stuff, uh, which I call mindful marketing. Hmm. If I told you I connected with you through your podcast, what would you say? I would say that that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a beautiful thing, right? And uh, that's the opportunity for all of us, you know, if, whether it's in business or life. This uh, the internet allows us to. You sitting in Trinidad, I'm sitting in um, Southern California, and we can build relationship, make friends, you know, elevate our lives, get all the support we need pretty much um so we should leverage this technology the right way yeah i totally agree totally agree and i was listening to one podcast where a woman was just expressing she had cancer and she wanted to start another business um which is like organic soaps uh -huh. and you know she was just expressing how challenging it would have been for her um parents if they needed to start because all she needed to do was like google stuff right like she could yeah. check the ingredients google stuff of other products and then she got going and it's really an amazing time i must say yeah um, exactly. especially for conversation though kenneth and, to, and it's not happening though as much as it should be no it's not happening as much as it should be so i mean you know at the end of the day it's just about uh, mindset and look we're not we're not perfect and um the worldwide interwebs <laughs> as you can call them you know they can be a source of all the learning that you need right if no matter where you are no matter what your background no matter what your financial situation is there's fantastic information out there for help you to elevate your life but at the same time it can be the biggest time waster suck you dry and mm -hmm. keep you stuck yeah so it's all about your mindset and 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 creating that what do you want from it and creating that discipline around it mm. yeah that being said who did you learn that skill from mindfulness you know is um to be honest mate is i learned it the hard way right um and what i mean by that i mean i, I came to always dreamed of coming and living in in america you know i, I didn't come from much growing up in south africa um, paid my way, you know, studied, had to study university part-time and came over to London, worked in investment banking. Eventually, uh, by hook or by crook, I tried, I tried, I tried, broke into the banking world, uh, started right at the bottom, worked my way up. I got a job off in the U.S., working in the U.S., did pretty successful with my investment banking career and I wanted to make change. I was starting to I felt empty, even though I was doing well financially, I felt empty inside. So I was searching spiritually. And then I ended up getting sick for five years and lost everything, everything that I'd built up my entire life. And um, so it was through that process uh, where I had to start in initially for the first two or three years, I was looking outside for answers. I was looking for that doctor, you know, that specialist, somebody that give me a magic pill or something to help me pull myself out of my um, 
sort of suffering uh, that I was going through in, in health and financially. I mean, I was completely broke um, mm. and was losing my house, everything. And um, But when I discovered the power within me, that the power really lay within me. And, and fortunately, I had a mentor, um, this old guy um, who's uh, my father-in-law, uh, South Africa. He, I would phone him every single day and he just kept telling me to work on my mindset, work on reprogramming my subconscious mind um, and create new empowering beliefs and that the power is within your mind. And at first, I didn't want to hear that. It annoyed me, to be honest. And um, so from from that, it sort of opened up everything for me to where I'm leading to the, where I am today and teaching people and helping people heal in their business and in their personal life now. So um, I would say he was the catalyst for it, which opened my eyes to, you know, people like Wayne Dyer, Bob Proctor, etc. I ended up studying under Bob Proctor for a year. Hmm. Um, and so those are the most influential people in my life. And since then, a number of other people. Yeah, I'm thinking about Bob Proctor, who his material is really deep, isn't it? Like, um, yeah. yeah, the black CD, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. it's all about reprogramming our belief systems, right? Is uh, you know, our belief systems that sit in the subconscious part of our brain mm. is they govern our entire life experience. So, you know, if you grow up if you grow up in a place of poverty and the conversation around the table, if you even have a table, um, that money is tough in order to be rich, you have to be a thief, you have to do bad, you know, money's evil. Well, what's going to happen when you want to go out into the world and make money? It's going to become very difficult, right? Because you've been programmed as a child, you know, um, in the environment that you're raised. And so even though we have good intentions later on in life, it becomes very, very uncomfortable for us because we can't believe that we'd be able to earn $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month. But once you work on that and create a new model, it's it's silly and you look back and you think why did i think like that for so long <laughs> and so that's the cool thing about bob proctor and that's what really you know changed my life but you know i didn't have my, my father died when i was 11 years old so i never had that mentor that father figure in my life and so it took me until i was 35 years old before <laughs> i had to get sick to realize that yeah. but it's all good right these things happen for a reason so it's um, all good Love yeah it. yeah it's all good where's the best place for people to connect with you kenneth well they can visit my website on kenneth todd.com so that's k-e-n-n-e-t-h-t-o-d-d.com or you can look up me on on facebook i'm active on facebook um kenneth todd coaching in facebook um yeah either my website or facebook page would be great kenneth let's switch gears for a moment now let me invite you my friend into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful warm blue caribbean water kenneth what is your earliest childhood memory what is my earliest childhood memory uh probably sitting on the beach uh with my family i was one of eight kids and um yeah those those weekends on the beach were <laughs> were the best best memories and my earliest things that I can remember probably as a two or three year old kid. Wow. Why do you think this memory is so clear? I think because just an environment where you don't need anything, but you're surrounded by people that love you and, and you're in an environment being at the beach where everybody's having a good time, you know, jumping in the water, eating good food, you know, a little Coca-Cola here and there <laughs> and uh, just having fun. And that's what life's all about, right? Yeah. All those elements in one place. I love it. Love the Coca Cola. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm no way sponsoring Coca Cola. Um, anyway. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? For sure. I love the idea of mindfulness. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just love the idea. It's 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 what was created at that point. I mean, the yeah. the, the the environment like. It's it's like the foundation for growth thereafter, right? The pureness uh -huh. of the sea, the pureness exactly. of joy, the true family connections. Um, yeah. It's just it's just fascinating. It's like the perfect model, the sound of the sea. Yeah, it's just mindfulness. That's right. You're being present, and that's what that's what everybody is present. And then there were back then there was no cell phones and 
Facebook to get distracted. So you could be on the beach and just enjoy each other and the environment. No, connect. Yeah, no Facebook 360 images. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, if we fast forward it to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? When I was 12 years old, geez, that would have been 1985. So I'm going to guess... It was probably Duran Duran, Wild Boys. Yeah, most definitely. Definitely connect, right? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, All right, my oh, friend. We've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. So we're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Kenneth? I'm ready for it, man. Kenneth, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? Yes. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Sometimes. All right. What, <laughs> what about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Uh, that's my laugh, so more than eight. All right. Kenneth, after 1,001 conversations in three months in 2016, I came up with a workbook. The name of it is called Yours. It stands for your own unique real self. And the idea is you answer questions that hopefully help you to discover your own unique real statement. A statement that represents you, right? Um, you're like your mission, right? If you, mm-hmm. Kenneth, had to share with us your own unique real statement, what would you say that is? A uh, huge appetite for learning helping others and persistence Hmm, love it Kenneth this was a great pleasure before you leave is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience well I just want to share this mate it was an absolute uh, blessing to spend these brief moments with you and um, I really enjoyed your energy and I want to say thank you for you well, thank you to you for allowing me to share my story and and thank you for uh, doing what you do. So all the people that are listening, I hope you're inspiring them and and helping them live a better life. So thank you, mate. Hey, I appreciate that, my friend, Kenneth Todd. I look forward to the day we're sitting on the Trinidadian beaches, right, having Coca-Cola. Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> well, so do I, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. So, yeah. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And um, I feel uh, you've raised my vibration just, uh, you know, speaking to you and, and listening. So thank you. You're welcome, my friend. Kenneth Todd, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Awesome. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.